The next example deals with standardized tests such as the ACT or other standardized tests that you may take. And on some of these tests there is a penalty for an incorrect answer. And this is um, this is the policy on some of these tests in order to discourage random guessing. Okay, so let's suppose that there are five choices for each question and a student will earn one point for each correct answer and will lose a third of a point for each incorrect answer. Okay, so we'd like to know the expected value of randomly guessing an answer. Okay, so again, there are uh, two possible outcomes that we are interested in. Namely, our guess is correct or our guess is incorrect. Okay, the probability of a correct guess, since there are five choices, is one out of five. Probability for an incorrect guess, four out of five. And the values associated with these outcomes are one point for the correct answer and negative a third of a point for the incorrect answer. So this means our expected value for randomly guessing is one-fifth times one plus four-fifths times negative one-third so that's one-fifth minus four-fifteenths or a negative one-fifteenth. A fifth is three-fifteenths. Okay, now it's possible when you take a standardized test that even though you don't know what the right answer is, you can say for sure that one of those answers is definitely not right. Okay, so let's suppose that our student taking this test can eliminate one of the answers, or one of the choices, then um, is it a good idea to guess from the others? Okay, so we have a similar problem. Okay, so again we have an outcome which may be correct or it may be incorrect. And we have probabilities and values again. probability of a correct guess now is one out of four because we've eliminated one of the choices. Incorrect, three out of four. The values are still the same. Namely, uh, one for a correct answer and negative one-third for the incorrect answer. And so our expected value if we've eliminated one of the choices is one-fourth times one plus three-fourths times a negative one-third and that one turns out to be zero. One-fourth minus one-fourth so it gives us zero. So if this is the case then uh, guessing will in the long run not uh, 
will neither hurt us nor help us.